Hey, welcome to the show, Health and Fitness with me, Ed. Most of us are familiar with the daily struggles associated with staying fit and healthy. That's why I am determined to transform 10,000 lives over the next decade. Will yours be one of them? Time to get fit. Over three things you should avoid in the gym that can totally kill your testosterone. Number one, avoid long duration cardio. Cardio workouts exceeding 45 minutes in length can lead to an increase in cortisol. Cortisol is your body's primary stress hormone, and all you need to know is when cortisol is up, testosterone goes down. To be clear, this effect happens regardless if your cardio is higher or lower intensity. The point is to keep your cardio sessions short. Number two, don't overdo the high-intensity work in any single workout. Doing too much high-intensity work in a single workout can also lead to an increase in cortisol. Now, don't get me wrong. You should definitely have high-intensity components to your workout, but training until you feel like throwing up is just going to send your cortisol through the roof and your testosterone into the basement. Number three, make sure you get enough rest between your workouts. The stress from each of your workouts will compound over time. This can cause a further rise in cortisol if you don't allow enough rest between workouts for proper recovery. Don't work out on a muscle group if it's still sore from your last workout. And if you're not fully recovering within two to three days of your last workout, then you've likely overdone it and your entire system needs a break. We want to be in and out of the gym within an hour. But you're pushing that hour mark, you're going to be risking having your cortisol levels increasing, which thus lowers your testosterone levels substantially. In and out of the gym within an hour. Tip number two. Get plenty of heavy compounding movements into your workouts. We're talking squats, deadlifts, bench press, military press. These are the types of things that can naturally jack up your levels of testosterone. Thirdly, time of day can matter as well. You see, in the morning, that's when your testosterone level is naturally at its highest, whereas you can ride a second wave by getting your workout in later at night. And fourthly, if you're going to do cardio, high-intensity interval-style cardio, 20 to 25 minutes is a break. Fit.